Hi, my name is Asher Bankhead. My name is Jacqueline Massan, and our research question is, can forensic quality DNA be extracted from discarded gum? To determine this, we utilize cytochrome B in the mitochondrial DNA sequence, so we could eliminate the identifiable aspect of the mitochondrial DNA, because that is unethical to do in a project like ours. To analyze our gum samples, we first submerge the chewed gum within a saline solution. Then we, or we orbital shake, centrifuge, and chelix our samples, removing the gum contaminants and leaving the DNA of the chewer intact. Once the contaminants have been removed, we start the process of PCR. To show our results, we use electrophoresis. To discover the quality of DNA recovered from a classroom, we sent our forensic gum samples to be compared with the mitochondrial DNA that we isolated. We chose our forensic gum samples because they're the oldest. There was a 99% similarity of our isolated gene to the actual cytochrome B gene. Another part in evaluating quality was checking the DNA that was in a controlled environment, our fresh gum samples. To evaluate their quality, we judge the electrophoresis bands on band intensity. In the results, the average band intensity decreased by a very small amount. To conclude, we demonstrated that gum samples that are younger than or equal to 355 days are a forensic quality and can be effectively used in forensic analysis. In the future, we intend to test gum samples in different environments to determine their DNA viability in concerns with certain circumstances. Acknowledgements include Dr. Andrew Lettuce, who oversaw this whole project, and Ms. Elaine Straub and her forensics class for providing us with the forensic gum samples.